Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah, and today I would love to review this wig for you, which is called Caliente 16 by Beltres in the beautiful color Tres Leches Blonde. If you'd like to know how long she is, how the color is composed, what special features she has, how she is different to the original Caliente, and how I like her, then stick around and let's get started. So Caliente 16 is not just the longer sister of Caliente, but it's actually a brand new design by Press and one of their styles that came out this year in 2023. And compared to the original Caliente, I can tell you this is a huge improvement and I'm so glad Press finally stepped up their game with their caps and special features. And of course, I'll tell you more about this in a minute. But first, I want to say thank you to my new friend, Michaela, who bought this beauty and was so kind to have her sent straight to me from the shop so I can unbox her and show her to you before she travels on to her. And the package just arrived today, so of course I had to unbox her immediately and record this video. Although it's really hot outside, it's somewhere in the 90s and uh, usually this is way too hot for me to wear hair that long, but I'll do almost anything for you. <laughs> And since the occasion presented itself, of course, I had to grab it and record this review. So, Michaela, thank you ever so much for lending her to me and let me make her wearable, which means I removed the zigzag part and uh, gave her just a little lift here in front, the way I like it and the way she stays out of my face better. But I must say, Caliente 16 is such a beautiful style and for me, she's even more beautiful than her very popular sister, which I also had and have reviewed before. I'm gonna link it up here. And I actually sold her again in the meantime, but I'll definitely be thinking about getting this one because I think it's just gorgeous. Now, I've also had my Caliente in the same color, Tres Leches Blonde, which I have shown before, but let's talk about it shortly anyway. Now, the color code is 10-16-88-8R. And Beltres describes the color as evenly blended honey blonde, subtle hints of golden blonde and ash blonde with a medium golden brown root. Now the name Tres Leches usually stands for a dessert from South America, as far as I know. And I just recently tried it for the first time and realized it sounds much better than it tastes. <laughs> Although this is always a matter of personal taste, of course, but my all time favorite is the Italian tiramisu, which I love more than anything. <laughs> but back to the color. Let's have a quick look at the color coats. So the 10 is a medium golden brown, which might be the base color. Then the 16 is the honey blonde they are talking about. The 88 is called lightest blonde or platinum white, depending on the manufacturer. And I'm sure they used a whole lot of this color to get it as light and bright as it is. And the 8, which is the root color, is a light chestnut brown. Now, Tres Leches Blonde is a little lighter and has a little bit less dimension than Butterbeer Blonde, which is Beltres' equivalent of Shaded Biscuit by Raquel Welch. I love all three colors, but must say, Tres Leches is just beautiful. Now, the wig has, like I said, Beltres' new cap design, which means she has an extended lace front and a left side mono part. And of course, I'm going to show you this from up close as always. And I have to say this lace front is so beautifully done. As you can see, they brought the highlights right up to the hairline. Now there's a very small band more or less with the, with the highlight color, but it's not as thick as in other styles, also from Raquel Welch. So I think this is beautifully done. And the best part is, of course, the extended lace front, which I love and prefer. And it goes down to approximately here, halfway into the ear tab. And it doesn't have that harsh seam that you usually see around here, where the lace meets the cap. And that is something you can always see. But in this case, with their new cap design, this looks so much more natural. Now, the mono part is also done really well. I hope you can see it. You can see through to my scalp which is perfect and just the way we want it. That means it's not too densely knotted and you don't have to pluck. You can just plop this on straight from the box and it looks fabulous. I must say, dear Julie from Beltres, this is such a huge improvement and I'm so glad all the new styles and also the new collection, which is coming out this winter, 
is made with these extended lace features. So thank you so much for listening to us. Now I will show you the length all around the screen so I won't have to bore you with any numbers and we can talk about permities next. But there hardly is anything to talk about because this style has hardly any permities at all. There is none at the nape, none in the back, none on top and just a tiny little bit on the sides. As with every style, you'll always have a very tiny bit of permities on the sides. But apart from that, she doesn't have any permities and she's really low density. So you can touch the back of your head and not even feel you're wearing a wig. All the volume that you see, she gets from those gorgeous curls and waves and not from any permities. So if you don't like permities, you can definitely try this style and will be thrilled, I'm sure. Now the fibers, as always by Betress, are made from their outstanding heat-defined fibers, which are, in my opinion, the best on the market. I can just reiterate it every time. Maybe you can't hear it anymore, but there's always someone new who watches my review for the first time, so I just love to point out how much I love Beltres heat-defined fibers. They feel so incredibly soft, and uh, just like real human hair. And it comes with all the advantages you have with the heat defined fibers, which means it doesn't shine as regular synthetic. Um, and you can use heat to alter the style if you want. You can use your heat tools. You can straighten it, recurl it, and always make it like new again. And the fibers just feel and look really fabulous. Now, let me show her to you from all sides. And after that, of course, also outside in natural daylight. So, how do you like Caliente 16? Do you prefer it to the original or do you prefer the original? I must say I prefer the longer version. I think it's even more gorgeous and the special features, of course, are such a big plus that I'm thinking about getting this one myself. Now, when it comes to styling, of course, there's a lot you could do. You know me, I just love to wear her open like this, but you could definitely put her up or in a ponytail or just half up, half down, whatever you like. You have a great length to be able to do some styling. I think we don't have to do the glasses test. <laughs> Since this has so little permities, it won't be any problem to wear glasses with this style. So let's rather go out and I will show you this gorgeous color outside in natural daylight and today also in direct sunlight. Isn't that color just beautiful? I really love it. Now, last but not least, let's have a look at the cap from the inside and those gorgeous new cap features. So here's the cap from the inside. Here you can see that beautiful lace front that is very much extended all the way down into the ear tap, which I love and looks so much more realistic. Then this seamlessly goes into the mono part, which goes back quite a bit and also has enough width so that you have some parting space. Um, on the side she has those felt covered ear tabs with the metal stays inside. The rest of the cap is open wefted. She has an extended nape and the typical bell dress pull strap adjusters. So all in all, this is a very luxurious cap. Okay, that was my review of Caliente 16. I hope you liked it and it's helpful. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my future videos. And there's a new one coming out each Friday at least. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will definitely reply. Now, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're well. Stay that way and I will see you again soon. Bye bye. Now. Now the now the name now the name is now the name uh no 
Now, if you like this style, why not check out the original Caliente? Or maybe you also like this one.